Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to have a quick look at DocumentDB and we'll also see some JSON document storage in action. So um, DocumentDB is Amazon's version of MongoDB, which is a popular document-oriented database. And even the official uh, title on the Amazon page of DocumentDB includes in brackets with MongoDB compatibility. So this is a fully managed document database service that is compatible with MongoDB and supports most of its features. And here's an example of a storage uh, of a file that we'd be storing in DocumentDB. So it stores these kinds of documents. They're JSON documents. And the way it works is that here, for example, let's bring the mouse over. Here we've got um, a student in, in this document, we've got a record of students, which is an array. So these square brackets define an array. And inside we've got two elements, element one, and element two. That's just an example. Of course, there would be more, nor normally there'd be more elements. Here we've got Sarah Chang uh, with an ID, her age, the course she's taking and that her tuition has been paid. Um, and the second element, we've got James Matthews who found an ID uh, here we've got a list of courses that uh, James is taking and their application that it's pending and their high school GPA. So as you can see, even though some elements or some parts of these two records are similar, like name and last name, and there are parts that are different, like course here, is, there's only one course, but here's a whole array of courses. Here we've got fields ID and age and tuition here we've only we don't have those fields but we have application pending and high school gpa and clearly it's because uh, james matthews is still not enrolled in the course uh, their application is still pending whereas sarah has already been enrolled so as you can see uh, do document storage in json format is different to our standard relational database type of storage and it has more flexibility and it's therefore more usable in different, like it's used in different scenarios and can provide certain benefits in different scenarios. So that's an example of document storage. So as we've discussed, DocumentDB stores, enables you to store and work with JSON documents. It's a no SQL type of database. Important to remember that as well. Um, it automatically replicates data across multiple AZs. So it's highly available. It has six copies in three different AZs. Uh, it's fast and it scales horizontally. The database maximum size is 64 terabytes. The storage uh, in input output automatically scale to your workload. You only pay the resource for the resources that you use. And note that DocumentDB is not a serverless service. You do need to provision instances for it. So that's DocumentDB on the exam. Look out for things that mention storing and working with JSON documents and especially if you see MongoDB, then your answer is going to be DocumentDB. So that's all on DocumentDB. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.